The shipbuilding industry, as a crucial component of the global economic system, not only carries the important mission of trade and logistics, but also symbolizes the industrial strength and innovation capabilities of nations. Traditionally, countries like the United States, Japan, South Korea, and Europe were prominent players in shipbuilding. However, in the past two decades, the center of gravity in global shipbuilding has shifted to Asia. Particularly with the rise of China's shipbuilding industry, the world's shipbuilding landscape has evolved into a tripartite structure dominated by China, South Korea, and Japan. According to Clarkson's research, a UK-based maritime and shipping analysis firm, in 2005, the global shipbuilding industry had a four-polar structure. The new ship completions from South Korea, Japan, the European Union, and China collectively accounted for 96% of the world's share. They essentially monopolized the global shipbuilding industry, with South Korea leading at 36%, Japan at 31%, the EU at 16.3%, and China following at 13.4%. From the data, it can be seen that the third-ranked European Union and the fourth-ranked China have a significant gap compared to the first-ranked South Korea and the second-ranked Japan. The gross tonnage of ships built in China is only about one-third of those built in South Korea. However, China's shipbuilding industry has maintained high-speed growth. In 2009, just four years later, the gross tonnage of ships built in China approached that of South Korea, securing the second position globally. This might be attributed to the significant impact of the 2008 financial crisis on South Korea. By 2010, South Korea's completion accounted for 31% globally, and China's completion reached 42.9%, surpassing South Korea for the first time and securing the top spot globally. Subsequently, as South Korea gradually recovered from the impact of the financial crisis, the global shipbuilding industry began to witness a situation of rivalry between China and South Korea. According to the data from the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development from 2014 to 2022, the gross tonnage of ships completed by the European Union accounted for only about 3% of the world's share essentially withdrawing from competition. Japan held the third position, while China and South Korea consistently held the top two spots. In 2014, the tonnage of ships completed by the European Union constitutes approximately 2.81% of the world's share. Japan ranked third with a share of 21.04%. South Korea ranked second with a share of 34.36%, and China ranked first with a share of 35.89%. The tonnage of ships completed by China, South Korea, and Japan constitutes 92.2% of the world's share. By 2022, the tonnage of ships completed by Japan ranks third globally with a share of 17.25%. South Korea ranked second at 29.24%, and China ranked first at 46.59%. The tonnage of ships completed by China, South Korea, and Japan collectively accounts for 93.8% of the world's share. According to Clarkson's research, cumulative orders from January to October in 2023 totaled 33.69 million compensated gross tons, 1,324 ships, a 24% decrease compared to the same period last year. China secured 57% of the world's share of new orders with 19.33 million compensated gross tons, 832 ships, claiming the top spot. South Korea came in second with 8.93 million compensated gross tons, 27% of the new orders, 184 ships. It appears that China is maintaining its position as the world leader and has begun to widen the gap with South Korea. What factors and characteristics lead to the dominance of Japan, South Korea, and China in the global shipbuilding industry? Japan has consistently held a leading position in ship design and construction technology. The country's shipbuilding enterprises focus on enhancing ship efficiency, safety, and environmental performance, particularly in areas like liquefied natural gas, LNG transport, high-speed vessels, and specialized purpose ships. Japan excels in high-value markets such as luxury yachts, cruise ships, and high-end commercial vessels. 
Japanese shipbuilding companies not only prioritize the aesthetics and performance of their products, but also strive for excellence in details and comfort, offering trend-setting products in the global high-end ship market. Japan is renowned for its professional manufacturing of special-purpose vessels, including ocean research ships, deep-sea exploration vessels, and marine engineering ships. These vessels play a crucial role in global scientific research and energy exploration. Japan actively explores technological innovations in areas such as smart ship technology, autonomous navigation systems, and digital ship design. This spirit of innovation positions Japan strongly to face future challenges. South Korea's shipbuilding industry is predominantly led by several large corporations, covering various fields such as commercial vessels, tankers, and container ships. These companies enhance product quality and competitiveness through economies of scale and specialized production. Korean shipbuilding companies hold a notable share in the global market. Large commercial vessels including oil tankers, LNG carriers, and container ships built by Korean companies play a crucial role in the international shipping market. South Korea's shipbuilding industry demonstrates outstanding application of advanced technology, particularly in the construction of LNG carriers, specialized vessels, and high-tech ships, Korean companies have maintained a leading position. The competitiveness of South Korea's shipbuilding industry continues to rise globally with international recognition of the quality and performance of its products. Through international cooperation, technological innovation, and marketing strategies, Korean enterprises actively compete for and maintain their global market share. South Korea's shipbuilding industry has made significant progress in green ship technology and sustainable development. This includes research and development in low-emission ship design, energy-saving technologies, and environmentally friendly ship solutions. The rise of China's shipbuilding industry is closely tied to the implementation of the reform and opening up policy in 1978. Economic openness provided more market opportunities and external investments, contributing to the modernization and internationalization of China's shipbuilding industry through the introduction of foreign technology and management expertise. The Chinese government has heavily invested in infrastructure development, including the construction of ports, shipyards, and maritime industrial zones. This development has provided robust support for shipbuilding and maintenance, enhancing China's competitiveness in shipbuilding. With rapid economic growth, the demand for ships in China has continually increased, particularly in maritime transport and energy development. This dual drive of domestic and international demand has propelled the rapid development of China's shipbuilding industry, covering various sectors such as commercial vessels, tankers, LNG carriers, and large container ships. China has made significant progress in technological innovation and independent research and development within its shipbuilding industry. Breakthroughs in traditional ship design and construction, coupled with innovations in smart ships, digital technology, and environmental protection, showcase China's strong innovative capabilities. China actively seeks advanced technology and management experience through international collaboration and corporate acquisitions. Some Chinese shipbuilding enterprises have entered the international market through acquisitions or joint ventures, expanding overseas operations and increasing global market share. China has invested extensively in green ship technology and sustainable development. Initiatives include the development of low emission ships, clean energy propulsion systems, and environmentally friendly ship solutions. As of November 4, 2023, China has successfully delivered its first large cruise ship, the Adora Magic City. This milestone signifies another triumph for China in the global shipbuilding industry. Currently, China stands as the only country in the world with the capability to simultaneously build aircraft carriers, large LNG, liquefied natural gas carriers, and large cruise ships. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thank you for watching.